Okay, so uh, welcome to Travis Clayton's channel. Today's lesson. Uh, today's lesson is about contour lines and what they actually mean. Okay, now what I'm going to do just briefly is I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to go to... I'm probably, I'm probably recording that. Here we go. Google, Google Earth. Now, if we look at Google Earth here... Okay, so if we can have a look at this here, this number here, see where the uh, light is and that number there? Right, so that number reads 400 and it means 400 metres above the sea. And everywhere along this line is 400 metres above the sea. So what that means is if we were standing where the number 400 is and we walked on a path like this, means we would not be going uphill or downhill. And we would be going around in a circle. Okay, in this case, because the line goes in a circle. If we were standing, and I'll use a pen now, if we were standing on this contour line where my pen marker is making a mark, and we walked along this line, we would not be going uphill or downhill, we'd simply be walking flat. And you'll notice we come to the number 400, tells us where 400 metres above sea level. We can keep following the line and we're at 400 metres above sea level, 400, 400, 400, all the way along that line. Does that make sense? Now, if however, and notice again, back, back onto this line over here, you can see it, try and make it bigger, that one there. If we walk along this line, we're not going uphill or downhill, how many metres above sea level are we? Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. There's our 600. We keep going. And eventually we, can, we are going off the map. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete my markings. Uh, and to do that, I need to go here. And... Uh, never mind, we won't do that. Okay. So... Okay, I'm going to ask you a question now, all right? I'm going to place, and I'll use a different colour here. I'm going to use green. And I'm going to place a dot. Paint it. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> right on that line. Okay? Now, I'm going to get a volunteer to come up. <laughs> settle down. To come up, and I want you to use an arrow to show me which way you would go if you were to go downhill. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. It's got you. I'm on TV. <laughs> Hell, yeah, what do I do? Yeah. You've got to draw on here. Draw on here what? Oh my God. I'm not uploading this one. I just want to be on TV. No, well, you need to lift your game if you're going to okay, be on okay, TV. Okay, okay, I'll be, I'll be really good now. Okay, so see where the green dot is? Yes. I want you to draw a line which way you would walk if you were going downhill. Ah. Whoa. In that direction. Yeah. Okay, good. Good stuff. Yep, that's good stuff. Um, if you Woo! can you please <laughs> put your hand up. All right, good. Thank yep. you. Um, that is correct. Thank you, Trevor. Now. Yes, Leighton. How is that? Right though, because if the lines are really close, that means it's really steep, so Correct. you can't walk, walk down it. Um, well, we're going to assume that he's an awesome mountain bike rider then, and he's doing the fastest trail down that, fastest route down that steep hill. I'm a skater. Straight line speed. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it drops like 100 metres, 200 metres every time it goes to the <laughs> Yeah, so that's 200, 400. 600 metres that, that, that um, Trevor would have declined down the hill. Now, uh, yes, Is Matt. it like the Weber lines where each line means 200, like as they expand, how one line to another is 200? It's like that, yes. yes. But we're talking here about height above sea level, and in yeah. weather maps we're talking about air pressure. Yeah, yeah. About, they meant oil. That's correct. It works the same way. Yes? How far would that actually be, like from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill? Like 
distance. We need to look at the uh, scale, and I've cut the scale off this map so you can't see it. Right, yes. So the closer lines are together, the <laughs> Yes. So the one, so where, you drew, where Trevor drew the line, the one across from that, the hill to the right, that's really far apart. No, across the river. That wouldn't be as steep. No, up in the corner. Left, top, right hand corner. Yeah, that. <laughs> That, yeah, that's not yeah, a steep. That Notice would, that it's um, that just would, as high, but the slope flat. is more gentle because the lines are further apart. No, it's higher, sir. So. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not, because that's a thousand. And that's a thousand. So they're the same. Are you height. recording at the moment? Yeah. Now, one other thing we want to learn from this, and I have to use my pen on here again. Right, so. Now, I said earlier that when we're at sea level, um, we are at zero meters above sea level. So let's say that I'm a, let's say that I'm a kayaker, all right? It's the waking shore. And I've got my kayak and I'm out here at sea having a lovely paddle around in the ocean, right? And I decide that what I actually want to do is I want to go and paddle um, up the river. And so I decide to head in through between the delta, I head upstream, can you guys see that on the screen? Yeah. No, where? Left, left. Big blob of yellow. And I decide to go this way. Notice, just follow my trajectory here. And I turn right. And I'm heading upstream, heading up, or heading up the river. When I stop here, how many metres above sea level am I? Zero. I know where you are. Uh, Harrison. Zero. Rain. 100. 200. Why 200? Why zero? Why 100? Tell me. Zero because you're still on sea level. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. 100 because it's on the 100 line. Well, it's on the 200 line as well. Oh, yeah, it's on the 200 line. 150. Both. So when the line crosses, it's Where did you get a 100 line from? Zero. Where'd you get 100 from? Yeah, yeah, no, that just makes it a waterfall. 100 all around there. Read the number carefully. Read the number carefully. It's 100. It's 200. Read it. Oh, so it's got a green line. Look at the end of the Oh, because the... Yeah, okay. Okay, that's 200. So you're both right if we uh, allow for that mistake. Because, Harrison, follow, right? Here we are in the river, we've gone upstream, and now you notice we cross the brown line. And the brown line is 200. We have gone up 200 metres. Yeah, you've gone up a waterfall. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah possibly. If we keep going, how many metres above sea am I now? 400. Harrison. Thank you. So, what are we saying here? Exactly. That would be near impossible to do, because in your kayak, you would be paddling up rapids. Okay? So, shh, shh. Which, uh, which way is upstream? The way you're going. The way I'm going, that's correct. Therefore, which way is downstream? The opposite way. So that means then... Shh, quiet, please. Thank you. Okay, what that means is that we can tell which way a creek flows or a river flows by the contour lines that we cross as we move along the river. If the contour lines and the numbers on them are going down in number, we're going downstream. And if the lines that we cross are going up in number, we know we're going uphill, and that's upstream. Okay, I want to touch back to uh, Trevor's mountain bike ride straight down the hill. No, it's a ski ride. All right, fine, a ski ride. Yeah. Now, I also want to point out down the bottom of the map here, we have a north arrow. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Now, 
If I was to ask the question, Trevor's skiing run, which direction was Trevor heading? Downhill. Correct, southeast. Okay, now, in geography, we ask about, and we will test you on your understanding of this. Okay, and the word that you'll be looking for is the word, and I'll write it on the side here, aspect. Okay, so aspect refers to the direction that is downhill. Okay, the direction that is downhill. Now, why would we want to know about this? And there's really one main reason we want to know about this, for all of us anyway, right? When it comes time for you to buy a house, you will be very interested in the aspect. Most people, when they buy a house, prefer to have a northerly aspect if they're in Australia because what that means is in winter, when the sun comes up, the sun hits the house immediately and warms the house up nicely. If you're on a southerly aspect, right, you've got the house, but you're in the shadow of the hill that's made, and so people prefer to have a northerly aspect. If you're on the uh, southern side, sometimes you've got to have your heater on until 10, 10 o'clock in the morning just to, just to keep warm. If you're on the northerly aspect, you can be turning your heater off at like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning because the sun's heating the house up. Right, hand up at the back, Leighton. But what happens if you're on the top of the mountain? It wouldn't really matter. Would no, it doesn't really matter. That's correct. All right, I'm going to ask another question then. Shh, indeed. If I'm standing here at that location, can you see where I put that? Yeah. I'll circle it. Okay? If I'm standing there, what is the aspect? Put your hand up, please, uh, Holly. Do you mean like? I mean the direction of downhill. Do you mean like that way? That way. I mean, give me an uh, an actual direction. You know, east, west, south, southeast. Sorry, Holly. North. North. Does anybody disagree? Confused. All right, well, we'll talk about that. Okay, uh, thank you. Just remember to tune in to and subscribe to the channel, Travis Clayton. Peace out.